Hey, what's up, guys? Thanks for tuning in to Are You Garbage. Please make sure you go subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you get the videos as they come out. Yeah. Do it. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there. Welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? The show where we sit down with your favorite comedians and find out if they go up classy or if they're absolute trash. Mm -hmm. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful evening here, down here at Aunt Tootie's basement, trying to keep it down. She had a long day. She took a couple of pills. She's up there sleeping, falling asleep to Jeopardy. My co-host coming at you from right next to me. Yeah. Gang, he is the chairman of the board. He's got his name on the lease. He's the boss. He writes the checks. He fucking takes the receipts. Give it up for the one, the only. He's in, a lot, he's in a lot of debt. Kevin James Ryan, everybody. Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube and www.patreon.com mm -mm -mm. slash are you garbage? The moneymaker, folks. Check that out. We got a lot of content on there. Uh, for the first bonus episode, we fucking called our moms and found out who was trashier. So tune into that. A couple of real who is. Yeah. Did she Still. answer? <laughs> <laughs> now, my mom would not have answered that. I, it was, uh, I, did that, I don't do that with my, That's not like the relationship I have with my mom. We're like, you know, we're like fucking, you know, employer, employee type same, thing. Keep same. my head down. And it's like, and as of recently, we've gotten closer, but he's like, I called my mom. It's all set up. And I waited like 10 minutes before. I'm like, hey, are you available for a quick phone call? It'll take 10 minutes. I'm sorry. It's oh, your son. I love you. <laughs> yeah. answer. My parents are looking for the spotlight. Like, oh, yeah. I want a little yeah. fucking camera time. That's even more trashy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're Get like doing the furniture in the back. <laughs> yeah, put, put the plastic on it. By the way, I love the board games. When we had board games in my house. Every piece was missing. Oh, oh yeah. 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 The Monopoly and it had no hotel. <laughs> we yeah. lost the thimble. Yeah. Couple trailers. Gang, that voice you here is our incredibly special guest that is here with us today now tonight is a family episode gang where we answer your questions we got to ask this gentleman our questions on his previous episode fantastic episode he is an extended member of the garbage family we have a little company tonight ladies and gentlemen do me a favor this kid's done it all he's seen it all we love him give me a nice big round of applause <laughs> for mr mark norman everybody Woo! Hey, hey, good to be back. Ooh, Thanks for coming, him. buddy. Thanks for having me. I, I was worried because I mentioned before I blew my load with all my uh, tranny <laughs> nanny sure. and uh, yeah. black neighborhood <laughs> and, uh, you know, bedwetting and all that. But you guys have prepared questions. Well, the fans. The, so this, one of the big things about we, we started getting like thousands of submissions of fucking these dirt bags all around oh. the world with their questions that are fantastic. <laughs> I love it. They're so, so good. And we can't yeah. we can't get to all of them. But the thing about it is if you join the Patreon, we automatically answer one of your questions. So, yeah. Oh, you know, genius. Just to drive business a little bit. We gotta so these are all Patreon questions. These are oh. all Patreon questions. And uh, if you haven't seen Mark's episode, you got to go back and watch it. And I just want to be sentimental for a second and say your episode was really the first episode. It was a it was a turning point. Where, really? Yeah. Where, where like what? In, like an intention that I didn't know we had. And a mutual mutual comic friend of ours said it was something that the podcast does that I don't think Kevin and I realized is that it humanizes comedians. Uh -huh. Now, I only knew you a little bit. You know, I watched you from afar. We loved you. I thought you were funny as shit. I had an idea of who I thought you were. Uh -huh. And then when you told your story, I was like, you know, it was very, I texted you after yeah, yeah. for like days. Like, dude, that's a fucking script. That's fucking awesome. Right, right. It was like extremely endearing. Wow. Yeah. Like, what did you think I was? Can I ask? I, I mean, <laughs> I, I thought, I figured growing up, you had a little bit of cash. Mm. You know what I mean? You were fucking probably the funny kid, the cool guy at school. Wow. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah. I thought you were cruising I mean, I through. I thought it was just an <laughs> avenue of green lights. Man, I got a, a decent penis. I was a bedwetter. I had horrible dandruff. I had oh. the yellow stains in my high school uniform. Oh, it was, yeah. Uh, it the was guy, bad news. I was a bedwetter, too. That is, oh. Dude, that's tough. That's builds character. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot similar to like trying to like hide a body, too. Like totally. In the morning, it's tough. Totally. And you got plastic down, and it's a dead hooker. It's brutal. I, uh, dude, when I, when I, your I, parents get involved, that's when it gets oh. right. And then they think something's wrong with you. Yes. And then you oh, think yeah. there's something wrong with you. My dad's old school. He's like, he had all these re remedies. You know, he's like, no more liquids after 6 p.m. Oh, that That'll was fix a big it. one. Yeah. I mean, Doritos at eight. Like, <laughs> I was so thirsty. <laughs> My brother's chugging Kool Aid. I'm like, ah, and then I still went to bed. Oh, it was, dude, just, it was I, just orange piss. I was <laughs> <laughs> just real yellow. <laughs> this kid needs some water. First mm, of all, it's cool. Ranch. Yeah. 
Oh man, that was the same. Th- the most embarrassing. It was all embarrassing. I did it yeah. at a friend's house on the floor. Like every- it's embarrassing. It's tough. But I mean, my dad, even when I'd be like seventeen, I like I'd be like I'd call him. We'd be like out drinking or whatever, you know. And I'd be like, ah, Yo, I'm staying at Chris's tonight. Yeah. He'd be like, All right. Remember to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, ah, oh, come on, dude. I'm, a fucking, I'm sitting here drinking, trying to get late. Oh. And he's like, hey, don't forget that. Don't don't piss your pants. That's so you kind of sweet. You did it. as <laughs> you. <laughs> he cares. He, he kind of wishes your dad did uh, that. Yeah. No, he doesn't want him to fucking embarrass him. Don't yeah. fucking be pissing at the McNulty's house. <laughs> Sleep in the tub. <laughs> Wait, so you would pee it as a little kid, but then you as when you're drinking. I, yeah, I oh, did yeah. that. Too. I don't do it as drinking. No, oh, my dad I wasn't did. warning me as drinking. He was warning me as, you know, you've been doing this but for you 15 did. years. <laughs> At all. When I drank, I, it came back. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. Because you, you're you're kind of numb again. You're in a blackout. You would, know. Would you be awake and do it? Would no. you want one of those guys that no. like, comes to and pees in the, nah, the hamper nah, or whatever? Nah, nah. No, that's weird. That's weird. <laughs> I hated it so much that I I was so against it. But I peed on many uh, one night stands. <sighs> Dude, that's such a tough look. Yeah, you got to blame them. You're a squirter. <laughs> Dude, we we had uh, one of the dudes from uh, uh, Barstool. Uh, Feidelberg yeah he was great and he does it like he's notorious that's his move he's like dude I just end up I've peed on like every girl I've ever been he gets up and spills uh, he spills water water. Uh, and then leaves it in the bed and goes oh you you know you must have you know opened up the bottle of water yeah yeah. smart smart girls are so nice though like I'm lucky I'm not a a gay guy because I feel like they'd hit me but girls are like (laughs) oh it's okay they're so understanding because they believe in shit yeah (laughs) That's <laughs> I think just going through that stuff. Yeah, you become more, of course, more empathetic. Of course, yeah. ladies, thank you. I've done it when I've been when I was drunk, where I've been awake, but I've been so you know when you're like you're so fucked up and you get like the spins. Yeah. I've just pissed and gone to sleep. Oh just, yeah, like a That's real bad. dirt ball because yeah. you're so out of it. You're like, yeah, Fuck it. Just, and it I, feels that warmth going yeah. through your legs. You're like, <sighs> but then it gets that only that warmth lasts for about ninety seconds, <laughs> and it gets real chilly down there. Dude. <laughs> Yeah, I fucked a squirter once this is, I don't know, <laughs> ten years ago, and first of all, it was it was this lady I met. She was older. She was a Jewish gal from Brooklyn. She had eight kids or whatever. She's like, I gotta get back to my kids. And I remember I was taking my pants off. We're both getting naked. It was freezing cold out. I lived in a tiny apartment where there was no central heat, and the heat didn't come on. So we're chilly, and she was like, first thing she goes, you better not have a small dick. And I'm Jesus like, I'm, I'm check, in, please. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm undoing my belt. I'm terrified, you know. And then we're past uh, that point. Like yeah, you, you bought it how you saw it. <laughs> As yeah. is, you're on the lot. I don't <laughs> know what to tell you. <laughs> yeah, you break the hymen, you bought it. <laughs> and uh, so we're going at it, and she's squirting like a main, and it was hot. It was great, but then you know, like you said, after five minutes, we're both. Sleeping, it was like two parentheses on the, <laughs> on the edge of the bed because the middle was freezing and wet. Yeah, it's and then no she good. just left. <laughs> Damn, and just left the bed like that. Just that was it. Left the bed. I just slept in the corner. Ooh, good. Better times. not have a small dick. Yeah, terrifying. Ouch, man. I know. I would have just left. Eh, sorry, <laughs> it's been fun while lasting. So let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> By the way, I love the the. I got a porn story to tell. That's the trash. Oh yeah, thing ever, but I, shoot. I can tell you later. No, no, no get it. away. I've told this on a pod before, so I'm sorry. But my friend, you mentioned seeing your friend's parents fucking in a Polaroid. Uh, in a pole, they weren't fucking. It was it was tasteful posing. Oh yeah, you might have added some of that too. <laughs> oh sorry. <laughs> hey, you remember uh, being a threesome with your uh, your nephew's parents? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, me and my friends used to skateboard. We're all sweaty. We run back upstairs. My friend goes, "I'm gonna jump in the shower." You know, we're hanging out in his room. And so, you know, it's the 90s, so there's a stack of VHS tapes. One of them says skate. So we're like, ah, put on a skate video. We put it in. It goes, you know, it's all yeah, fuzzy. Yeah, the tracking. Yeah. yeah. And then it cuts to a bathroom closet door is, like, cutting off half the frame. And it's his sister naked with the shower running, about to get in the shower. And she's, like, like figuring looking it out the mirror, a little figuring bit. Figuring it yeah. out, yeah. Like feeling herself, sexy, maybe. Feeling herself, touching oh, the I'm dip. Oh, I'm listening. Looking at her butt, you know, and uh, we're just like, <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck is going on? Oh, my God. Holy shit. And then we're just freaking out. It's like half excited, half curious, half confused. And then he comes out, you know, he's got the towel. Like, hey, what's up? Ah! And he, like, tackles the TV. And we're like, we're like what the fuck is that? He's like, you don't understand. I, she owed me money. I had to bribe her. And I just think he, he wanted to see a nude woman. It was pre-internet. And wow. this is what he had. Holy shit. So he hit a full fucking camera in the bathroom. And uh, yeah, got some footage, Jesus and we just happened to find it. Christ! Yeah, he's dead now. <laughs> I <got him> now. <laughs> Sister killed him. 
But it, it's it's weird Ooh. being a young boy, and this is pre porn, like it, on online. It is, it is. I had that's that's fucking nuts. I said I think I've I've talked about this before. My buddy, we were like looking for weed or something in his parents' room, and like mm. they let us. He let, he just like let us go through. Oh wow! And we all did that though. There I know just, totally. I, I, we dude, we th- ransacked everybody's parents' bedroom at one point. That's yes. I've never. It was like everybody. Would, it was like getting in the mob. Everybody had to do it. You couldn't hold out. Nah, yeah, totally. Nah. Not at my place. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> my dad had like money hidden and shit. Yeah. It was, yeah. Um, what do you think we were looking for? But we went, we were looking for weed and like, I guess you were also looking for whatever. You were hoping for something weird and kinky yeah, or whatever. of course. And my buddy, not the kid whose house it was, another friend, the third party pulled a plastic bag out from under the bed. It was like whips and chains. And oh, like, wow. A ball gag and shit. And like, he like picked up a dildo. It was like, look at this. And my buddy's like, put that down. It was like, <laughs> whoa. It was fucking Family heirloom. Embarrassing, dude. Yeah. Um, like, whenever you find that stuff, you always, the first thing you do is you have to smell it. Oh, yeah. You, you gotta, find a dildo. You gotta, you gotta figure gotta, it out. <laughs> yeah. That was always, to find the panties. You gotta smell. It's always a smell thing. Oh, that. Little boy, it's fucking. Teenage boys are fucking third place, yeah. man. I I think I might have even I I think I've told you this. My buddy's dad owned uh like three independent movie rental companies, like oh, Epic wow. Video or whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then Blockbuster came in, shut them down, yeah. and he sold all the movies but kept all the porn. Oh yeah. So we didn't know, and we were down in the basement, uh, and it was just boxes, like fucking what? floor to ceiling, but you haul oh, boxes. Could you imagine? But we didn't know it was porn. Oh! We just, these were just, dude, the whole basement, like Florida, like thousands, tens of thousands of tapes. So we're sitting in there and like, but it, like, it was like out of a movie. It was like Goonies. Like we we're like wrestling and like fell onto <laughs> yeah. the box oh, and it wow. opened up. And we're like, dude, there's all fucking porn in here. He goes, Anal astronauts. <laughs> what the fuck? He's like, these are all porn. Oh, like, what the wow. fuck? And we My were like, God. and so we're like, you go we're, into the speech up there is their time, man. <laughs> down here, down here is our time, uh, man. Now I'm watching all these pornos and beat uh, up. It was Gazangas uh, three was the first one wow. we put. Gazangas oh. three. Yeah, shout you, out, shout out to my boy Paul who was the, who had the balls to take wow. it. Gazangas three. You jerked off so many times. You're like, hey, you guys. <laughs> oh wow. The it Fratelli was, brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, shout out to Goonies. What a fucking movie. what a flick. We had one. We had one that, that you we passed shared, around. And I can I remember the dialogue. I said, I'm telling you right now. Those tapes are from my house, and one of them is Police Academy, ah. the original police that has a crazy, crazy boob scene at a, at, at a, at a bonfire. I don't remember that. In the middle really? of it. Dude, the, was that 80s or 90s? It, it was 80s. 80s. Dude, 80s. 80s boob scenes. Oh, my the God. The chicks would just come out of, would just cut oh, to a yeah. with chicks with the big banana boobs yes. running around. And they had the tan lines from the bikinis. Oh, boy. Pull it up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the 80s, because porn is so easy to get now. It's, so, it's in your, yeah. on your phone. I got to like, get off. Of, I got to get away from it. Same. It's too much. You got to get off. But yeah, it's funny because <laughs> when you see those, like, it's almost like when you have a, a a song on your iPod or whatever, it's fine. But when you see, when it comes on the radio in your car, it's mm-hmm. exciting. And it's yeah. the same with old boobs. You know, yeah. when they come on spontaneously, like, oh shit, old boob. But you never look up boobs. Sure. You never go boobs. Boobs, you yeah. Know? But when you see one. When you see one kind of in the wild, it's a little yes. more unexpected. You know what I mean? You're like, exactly. Yeah. And kids today, they'll never have that. And it's funny you related that to the song because I used to be like that, like a. Like a song would play, and I'd be like, oh, my God, I love that song. Wouldn't know the name, wouldn't know who it was. Mm-hmm. Would be like spend months trying to figure yes. out what it was, trying yes. to find it. Then it would come on again. You'd be like, oh, my God, this is it. Totally. And now it's just like, you know, fucking Pandora, whatever you want to hear. It's fucking crazy. You, you can type in like three lyrics, and you'll find it. Yeah. yeah. Google. Hmm. Good stuff. The good old days. Huh? The good old days, gang. Do you All think right. people did this back? Because technology is obviously changing sure. at a rapid rate. But do you think back when it was changing slower... They were older guys when, like, the phonograph came out who were like, oh, remember we had to learn to play the banjo. Sure, now yeah, you guys yeah, can yeah. do this, this, and this. These guys in their fancy FM radio. Yeah, yeah, we had to paint guys. Now you can just take a flash <laughs> photography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I was a kid, I I'm used, sure. I it's used human to, nature. I used human to think nature. about that in the 80s. Like, even, like, the little access we had to, like, pornography and stuff like that, I still would, like, think back to, like, my dad's generation and be like, man, that must have fucking sucked. Yeah. To watch a stag film, you had to get I know. on 16 millimeter, you real, had to have a real. projector. Yeah. Yeah, that must, and it was probably terrible. Of course. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're not taking care of themselves like they are. No, no. It, it's also weird to think about, and I'm sorry, we're, 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 no, we're, this we're is ripping and rapping. This is Do a show, it. baby. Okay, but think about like cars came in, obviously. So it was all horses, horse and buggy, <laughs> wagons. <laughs> we're going way back. I know, but like, <laughs> you think cars came in, so everybody's like, cars are dangerous. They were hitting everybody because they were still new and nobody knew how to drive them. And there was, Dead horses everywhere. 
because the horses, uh, <laughs> like one of the jobs, like a, a horse will just die. You know, you have a car for sure. everything. You see an old car in a, in a field and it's yeah. got shit. Ho- they were dead horses all over New York before the car. So that was just a thing. Yeah. Like, oh, there's a dead horse. It was like an abandoned horse. It was like an abandoned car, yeah. <laughs> but it's crazy to think Hub about caps it. caps are off of it. <laughs> Imagine just walking around, it's like, ah, oh, there's a dead horse on Broadway. There's it a was, dead horse on yeah. Wall Street. I think about that. Someone in my neighborhood, I live all the way uptown in the Heights. Uh, Do they have and, a horse? No, but they. somebody started posting <laughs> pictures from like 1922 or something oh, like yeah. that. Or maybe even earlier. On like just like hey neighbor check this out this is this intersection and it's fucking wild yeah. to see it it's really like, yeah man it's like the suburbs it's like, I know it was like instead of being like a house of a building every two two inches it's like and then you think every two hundred yards everybody in this photo is dead they were oh, all oh, had yeah. a boner they were all had insecurities they all had you know diarrhea at some point and they're all gone yeah mm-hmm. there's a famous quote I can't remember who it is but they said something like you know New York City is about your experience now. What it's about is the millions that came before you. You know what I mean? Like exactly Pretty what good. you're saying. Like the lot, like just even in, the, in this fucking building. You know yeah. what I mean? And whatever was yeah. here before, you know, just, you know, hundreds, you know, a hundred years of just lives just going and going and going. Yeah. And, sewing <laughs> factory. Yeah. The one right next door. Oh, yeah. there you go. one over there. My little sweatshop right yeah. next yeah. door. Yeah, Keeping exactly. it real in the city. Girls are working overtime. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, well, let's get into some fucking Patreon questions here. Let's... We got a little company tonight, as we said. Mr. Mark Norman sitting in with us. Woo-hoo. If you haven't seen this episode, it's out there right now. You can find it anywhere you listen to podcasts or on our YouTube page. Go and check it out. You're also, love him even more. Check out his podcast, Tuesdays with Stories. Of course. Buddy, it's a hot one. You guys hot got one. a hot, you, hot pod. Hot pod. There, there was is... something, too, like at a point when you guys were both opening for Louie uh, and Shula. It, it was Seinfeld. like, it was a yeah, wild yeah. fucking... You guys are on like private jets. All the, you guys had this such it, a unique. Oh yeah, fucking, I, I remember it, us. We that would was talk fun. about it after we listened. We'd be down in the village, fucking like standing fall, you know, outside out barking, the, the lantern, <laughs> <or> fucking <laughs> like, freezing. You fucking Norman was on a private yeah. jet. That, yeah. Well, speaking of going back, we all did that. We were barking. Course, we were, yeah. I was barking for uh, the village lantern. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's where we came. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wow, look at that! It cycles, baby. Yeah, we made it to Thirty Eighth Street. Who would have thought? We're on the road. <laughs> You'll be on a jet. It's fun having garbage on a jet. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Because you had that run opening up for Schumer. <sighs> Private six, jet, six sushi. Years. Sushi. I mean, I bought an apartment off of the money. M- Madison Square Garden, Carnegie Hall, you know? And people people give her shit. Like, oh, Schumer. But I'm like, she stayed loyal. She let all these, she let me open for Sam open. Uh, right. Everybody. Uh, list open. Yeah, everybody was opening. And she paid very well. And we had a fucking blast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just the ladies you, you hooked up with. That was when Bumble was new. And that Ooh. was a, that was a fish oh, in a It's like the Wild world. West. Oh, yeah. Good time. That's like the same thing. People try to give Pete Davidson shit. But, dude, the guy, he fucking brings all, and they're yeah. all deserving comics. They're all fantastic. But it's all his crew on the road. Everybody's in the movie. He helps all people stuff. with projects. That's special. what it's all about, yeah, man. It's, it's fucking like, awesome. Man. Yes, exactly. Hmm. Good shit. You want to open for me this weekend at Mohegan Sun? <laughs> <laughs> Atlantic the, City Comedy Club. What's the private jet situation? That's right. Me and Kippy, December 3rd. December 3rd. The Atlantic City it, Theater at the Clarion. It's a good room. I just did it. Yeah. It's, it's good, good stuff. Yeah. Good time. Shout out to New York Comedy Club. I got heckled for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I got heckled for an hour straight, and two black ladies walked and said, Get your clan hood. If you ever come to LA, I'm going to beat the shit out of Or uh, Philly. I'll beat the shit out of you. Oh, right, they mean don't it. Don't fuck around with Philly. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> they the, mean it. But I'm, I guess I am racist because. Uh, the two the black people in the table in front of them loved it and I was like they like it yeah. like all black people are the same <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about they like it they're black uh, looking for validation yeah. Yeah. and the, the black guy was like oh, yeah, no <laughs> shit you're on your own kid yeah. that's funny good shit uh, what do we got Kip alright these are all from Patreon as I think I think I mentioned If when you sign up for Patreon we will read one of your questions we're gonna we read everybody's questions but someone we just can't get to um uh, so this is it. This is the first one, and this is one that I have uh, history with. This is from Dan. Have you ever had a life-size cutout display of, like, a movie theater in your home? I had a movie. I had a life-size Superman. Oh, like, from where? Six foot. You know, it was like I stole it from the AMC. Or Christopher yeah. Reeves? Yeah, Christopher Reeves. And he, you know, he was, like, going like this, flying. That's pretty awesome. And I had the cutout with the little stand behind him. Uh-huh. It was in my room. It looked pretty cool. Yeah. The only problem is you come home after a few uh, <laughs> butt, butt, uh, butt ices, and you're like, oh, oh, jeez. All right. <laughs> and then, of course, you also get the fun part where he gets into the wheelchair accident, so you get to bend the poster. Uh, you know? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you roll him down. Yeah, you put him on, a, like, an office cool. chair and, and wheel him across the living room. Those things usually that had a dick. 
dick drawn on it. Yeah. Uh, or yeah. a whole, a whole cup whole... where the penis would go. Dude, we, yeah. were, we were older, and we stole uh, from, like, South Philly Sports Bar and Grill or whatever. We were in, like, our 20s, and we stole a thing of Darren Dalton from Al- <laughs> oh <my laughs> he was God. like a cutout. He was, like, advertising something, and every, they, we cut a hole in the dick. Yeah. And, like, my buddy, <laughs> we'd all, like, be pregame, and he would just be behind it with his <laughs> dick hanging out. <laughs> Classic move. Classic. Anytime you pull out a dick, it's funny. <laughs> that would be assault now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah. We were we were posters. We did. Po- I remember going to how trashy we are. We would go to like not. It must have been poster conventions or something. We did like that. that. We did yeah, that. Like, what, a poster what, convention. What were they? It would be at like we a convention hall. shops. I didn't go to a convention. <laughs> this was like <laughs> not a loser. <laughs> it must have been like a music convention or something like that. But I remember buying like Rolling Stone posters mm. like the huge. They did like memorabilia. Yeah. Conventions uh-huh. Before the Internet. It was like, we'll right. all get together and everybody will come out to buy these T-shirts. That was and eBay. The yeah. CDs and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really trashy coming home. Yeah, I got a I got a Blues Brothers poster. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fucking and rips and shit in it. Oh, this is what I learned in college. And it's just a bunch of shots. Oh, oh like that? sex positions oh, or whatever. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. man. I'm not as thick as you drunk. I am <laughs> yeah. Bob Marley. And looking back, I was like, this will never not be cool. And then oh, you, you get to like 24, like, oh, such a fucking dork. The John Belushi, uh, the one where he's wearing the college. college. Yeah, that, that was in every single fucking everybody. Even when I went to college, I'm younger than you. Even when I went to college, everybody fucking had it. Yeah. One thing I'm glad I never got into is the blacklight shit. Oh. I was a big oh, guy. I, hated I had blacklight. the stars on the ceiling. Oh, stay, was, stay away from Theral Hall, Theral Hall room 204 there. <laughs> this shit got real trippy in that fucking joint. <laughs> but then oh, you yeah. In with, was that a jizz stain? Look, oh, look at the dandruff on Billy. It yeah. was. It was uh, it was detergent. That's what we'd use to write detergent. Ah. Detergents would show up in a black light. Yeah, but your teeth always look fucked yes. up. Yes. Every stain, every yes. piece of dog hair got fucking illu- illuminated. And you, li- I hated it. I, there was this one dorm that had like black lights, and they'd be like, "Yeah, come over." I'm like, "I'm not getting fucked. I'm not coming in with fucking semen on me." <laughs> See your face. This shirt's like I pulled you back. Uh. It's all over my mouth. Uh. <laughs> it's mayonnaise. I swear to God. <laughs> That's fucking uh, awesome. They call you old cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> I remember kids that had like a fake tooth. They'd have like an implant and they would smile. Like everything would glow. But that one, yeah. like, what is that? Lead? What the, uh, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> the fuck is that made of, dude? Ooh, by the way, nothing trashier than the Nicorette is waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> you got the Nicorette gum waiting. You can't wait. He's to got it in here, too. Oh. He's such a piece of garbage. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Doc said I got to quit smoking. Yep. What about the patch? So he turned to candy. That's great. <laughs> Whatever happened to the patch? Is that I, gone? I feel like I, that's too. That was big for a That minute. was big. Nicoderm. CQ. Yes. Yeah. CQ. Colin yeah. Quinn. <laughs> now it's all Chantix. Mm. That shit fucks you up, though. <laughs> yeah, no Which shit. Which fucked up. That's the pill you take. Uh, and it really the fucks with your The red thing pushes. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, only know, I only know it from who does it. Kyle Dunnigan. Kyle Dunnigan. Oh, oh my God. That guy's fucking great. It's fucking Chantix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there smoking so funny. I tried everything to quit smoking. Hookers, nothing <laughs> worked. Chantix. He's, yeah, he's one, still smoking. He's one of those guys where you're like, you know, they always say, oh, the cream rises. The funny people will make it. Don't worry. And you're like, what about Kyle Dunnigan? He's so great. And then Rogan shouted him out. And now he's doing well. Unbelievable. His things with his mom. Mom, what are you doing? Oh, so funny. So man. funny. I'm so car- envious of people like that to think in characters and shit. Oh, I know. So Good. not me. Yeah, same. Kardashians, he kills it. Yeah, too. totally. Fucking Bruce great. Jenner. <laughs> hey, man, or Caitlyn, it. is it? Uh, uh, oh, boy. Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, What's next? All right, this is from Jeff. Have you ever ordered off the kids' menu as an adult? Oh, yeah. Yeah, big chicken fingers totally. and fries. If it's, if the really? Platter, dude, if the platter's not on... The appetizer, I got. I gotta, I gotta go, kids. Uh, if I was waiting tables, I would make you feel like a piece of shit for doing. <laughs> if you want to dry up a vagina would... on a date, <laughs> go off oh, that kid's plate. Yeah. Do you this... still want the juice box? <laughs> yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. <laughs> uh, give me a crayon while you're at it. <laughs> you... Coming out of your tip, fat so. <laughs> Some Boston guy. I wish I knew who it was, but he has this great joke about how he's so cheap. He's like, you ever go to the restaurant? And you're like, you look at the menu. You're like, ooh, I'll have the additional topping. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> it's the only thing on there. It's like four ninety nine. That's you know? pretty good. I, I wish I knew who that was. Somebody. Write oh that yeah, in. put that in the comment. That's a fucking home couple run of tomato of a bit. slices and some onions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love the coleslaw. I will say this: when, when I when I go to McDonald's with my niece and nephew, that you know they get Happy Meals. Obviously, I am real envious of those things. Oh yeah. There was something about popping one of those things open in the eighties. Totally, <sighs> so colorful and oh, the, toy. the toy in the bag, yeah. the burger smell coming yeah. out of that thing. They did it. They really fucking whoever's was behind that new 
psychology to get the fucking hooks and kids. Totally, totally. And I feel so bad for my parents because we'd go to remember. I don't know. This is this is deep deep dive shit. But Nickelodeon would have like things like go to McDonald's and say the password. Sure. Give you an extra cookie or whatever. Yeah. And so my dad's like. Hung over, uh, you know. He's got a five o'clock. Gotta say know. Slimer or something. Yeah, he's got a white beard on, and he's like, "What? What?" He's like, "My kids say uh, Nick Jr." Oh, okay. And he's like, "Ah, uh, shut up." But yeah, poor dad, he's like forty-four. He's gonna say Nick Jr. Yeah, out loud. Get you all fillet of fish. Yeah. <laughs> shut up. Yeah. Three fillet of fish and some four black coffees. <laughs> My dad was a big milk guy at McDonald's. Oh, right? dude. Dude. that's a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, right that's there. lunatic. A big one on the show. I don't know if we did it with you. We did your episode a while ago. Did you drink milk with dinner growing up? Mm-mm. Yeah, it's, mm. it's lunatic shit. Yeah, it's too heavy. My parents, they bought powdered milk. Oh. Yeah, we did talk about this. Yeah, so dude. we didn't have yeah. real milk. <laughs> he he didn't grew get... up on Rikers, it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, you, didn't you have powdered eggs, too? Weren't you a powdered egg family? No, we didn't have a powdered egg. It was powdered. I remember the powdered milk, and that's when I was like, damn. I almost, I felt bad for you. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> I, I just didn't fuck with milk. Dude, no shit. We had ice-cold vitamin D at the Oh, that's Thank the you, dream. Patty. That's the dream. Oh, the best. I love it, man. That's great. Uh, great question. Great fucking question. This, I feel like, Good I feel questions. like, I feel like Norman might uh, fall into this one because he was a bit of a rabble rouser as a kid. Yeah. Uh, this was from Connor True. Have you ever written on the wall of a bathroom or a porta potty? Oh. What are you kidding? Come on. <laughs> I never liked that shit. I don't think what? I ever did. Oh. I, I loved see it. it now. That was Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that is. You know, one guy would say something, the comment guy like, "This sure, guy's a douche," true. and then somebody yeah. would put an arrow to him and with a dick. I mean, it was gold. It was always just your mom's a whore. This, that, somebody's number for a good down. time. Call. That's a classic bit, though. I remember I was at a dive bar in New Orleans. I don't know. You know, I just spent my whole twenties at dive bars, and I was, you know, half in the bag, pissing, and one guy said. The hottest girl you've ever seen, some guy's tired of fucking her. Oh, and I remember yeah. being like, I heard that Whoa. too. <laughs> like, blew my mind. That's I was a like perspective a 21 year old. Yeah, when cause... you're the first time you hear that, you're like, holy yeah. fuck. Totally. And I remember being like, because, you know, we weren't getting laid and no hot <laughs> chick was ever going to talk to me. But reading that, I was. You know, you walk out of there, you felt pretty good. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, show me show me a hot girl. I'll show you a guy who's tired that of fucking her. That yeah, was it. That was it. Yeah. Good. Mm-hmm. That's good. There's also an old joke that, like, guys only sleep with girls so they can tell somebody. Mm-hmm. And there was, a, there was an old joke about a guy who was stuck on a desert island with uh, Brooke Shields. It was an 80s joke. And after, like, a year of being there together, you know, I've done everything under the sun. She's like, is there anything you want me to do? And he's like, yeah, well, you put this face mu- fake mustache on. <laughs> so she puts it on and he walks up. And he goes, hey, you're not going to believe who I'm fucking. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, wow. See, that that's layered. That's, no, a dad, that's deep. That's one. a dad bit. Is right that a street there. joke? Yeah, that's a street joke. Or is that joke. a bit? I that's think a it's street a street joke. joke yeah. I'm, dude, I fucking love street jokes. I do, too. They're brilliant. And we know, don't know who wrote them. It's, a, it's mm-hmm. a, such a shame because I love a good joke. Some and uncle somewhere. Some yeah. perfect joke. Somebody doesn't get credit Comple- for. Even the little stuff. Like when the first guy to go, is that clear? Crystal. Who uh, thought of that? Uh, that's Some guy to think of Crystal. <laughs> yeah. No credit. <laughs> <laughs> or a guy like a good that that's what she said. Nothing wrong with that. That one guy <laughs> said that he got eighteen high fives and no credit. Yeah, I used to think about that shit when I was a kid. Because uh, in the eighties, there was a rumor that my one friend's older brother's cousin. Whoa, that's came up stretch. came up with the the saying "It's all good." Yeah, no, so, I swear to God. Get the obviously fuck get the <laughs> fuck out of here, dude. He's been selling me this lie for like <laughs> a decade. This Shout like- out to Andre Klein. They were the cool. They were the coolest kids in the neighborhood, man. And his cousin was from like Georgia, and he would come up in the summer. They'd have the wave caps on. They always had like the newest rap and all that stuff. They mm. were fucking cool as shit. Asian he, kid. He's the all. Polish. <laughs> 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 he used to always say it's all good, and then mm. then like years later, it started to take off. But like, who comes up with those sayings? Even even like calling. Uh, you know, diamonds, water, or ice, or whatever like yeah, that. Yeah, you know bling, what I mean? Bling, yeah. Yeah. Shit. yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And I think Bling Bling was Lil Wayne, actually. Yes, I think that was I think a, a New Orleans tribute. thing. And I remember, uh, yeah, it was. And I think uh, Birdman was like, looking back, I should have fucking copywritten it, and I would have uh, been a billion. Like, I would have yeah. made $10 yeah. billion dollars off it. <laughs> I remember hearing, like, Obama said it once or something. So it just it's crazy how it starts in this ghetto or whatever, gets into some rap, and then five years later, Old corny guys are saying it. Yeah, yeah it just becomes yeah, part yeah, of the yeah, vernacular. Yeah, yeah. The zeitgeist. Zeitgeist. I yeah. was just watching the uh, the Seinfeld where they go to uh, Joe Mayo's party, the mm-hmm. new housewarming <laughs> party. I think it was. And I think that's the party. He's the one that gives everybody the job, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jerry goes, "Yeah, get jiggy." With I it. got jiggy with uh, it, and it's so cringeworthy. Yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, you're just this 
old white guy trying to act cool now. But was he trying? I think it was ironic. I think so, too. But still, I think the fact that it even made it in. Is- it was like a year after the song came out. Yeah. And yeah. It, it I got jiggy with it. Yeah. It's like, Upper middle class, cheesy white people. But somebody had to come up with that's lit and that's ratchet. I mean, oh, all that shit. Yeah, somebody yeah. thought of that. One person. Yeah. It's amazing. One person. Damn. That's why I try to make up my own. Like Seinfeld, they had, you know, yada, yada, yada. Not there's anything uh, wrong with yeah, that. They yeah, came yeah. up with their own. Man Hama, hands. Mama. Yeah. Hot Dude, chi, hot chi. fucking close talker, <laughs> low talker. talker. Yes. All of them. All, all of them. gifter. <laughs> it's like Jewish Ebonics or yeah. Jewish slang. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Estelle's got the Jimmy leg. Yeah. There you Dude, go. there were so many. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Seinfeld. Check it out on Hulu. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't already. You haven't caught an episode. They could use They could use the boost. Woo. Uh, my favorite street joke, and we, we've talked about this before, is uh, the, the pedophiles walking a seven-year-old kid into the woods, oh, man, and the kid's crying. He goes, what are you crying for? i got to come out of here by myself. Uh, <laughs> that's just fucking great. <laughs> I think a lot of that shit came out of the military. I think a lot of Ooh. guys, because everybody was in the, in the service back then, and yeah. you just have to be with eight guys in the woods, you know. Just fucking yucking it up. Yucking it up. No book, no nothing. Just talking. Man, that's that a funny. good street joke. Yeah. Good that's, street jokes. That's a spin-off awesome. podcast, Street Jokes. There you oh, go. Oh, that's a great call. Oh, cut that out. Don't let anybody hear that. <laughs> Genius. Genius. Co- copyright are your garbage 2020. Yeah. That'll be on the Patreon. <laughs> um, okay, this is from Joshua Marbury. Has a member in your family ever used plastic bags or garbage bags as luggage? If yes, have you ever taken it on an airplane? Oh, yeah. I did that last weekend. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> you can, have money, Norman. I can one-up that. I didn't even use a garbage bag because I couldn't find any, so I used a pillowcase. <laughs> what? Like, yeah, because I had a bunch of merch. And I was like, I'm not bringing a whole suitcase because I can leave the pillowcase in Milwaukee or wherever the If fuck you I sell was. the merch. Yeah. Or fold it and put it in your luggage. It was too full. I had more merch in the luggage. <laughs> oh, my God. This yeah. guy was a mover and shaker. Fucking like fire sale over here. Yeah. Right? He's like Everything crazy. Must, oh, yeah. yeah. Right, right. So I'm at you know Newark with a fucking luggage thing in my hand. I threw that in the uh, overhead. Oh, and you had a pillowcase. Full so of, you have, full you of got, merch. Like, you, got, like, your, you got the roller bag, the drag bag. Yep. And then a pillowcase full of fucking marshmallows. Yeah, because they let you have a, a personal The personal, bag. like, school bag yeah. and an overhead compartment bag. <laughs> What's more personal than a pillowcase? <laughs> What the? F- were you flying coach or first class? Uh, I was business. There you Ooh, go. Yeah, right. They must have been looking at you. This oh, yeah. Looking like a trick or treater. They were going, this is a bump up. This guy got bumped up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Scooby Doo didn't help. <laughs> I'm a big fan of the bump up. You know that. Oh, I'll wait around for fucking six hundred dollars worth of Amex gift cards. I'll say that. The bump, Fuck the wedding. The bump up is better than the the buying first class. Like yeah. getting the bump, mm-hmm. huge, huge. Uh, I've only ever feeling flown first class once, and somebody bought me the ticket, and it was fucking nice. They got yeah. us, dude. They get you so drunk. We were going down for a yeah. bachelor party to Miami. And they knew we were on a bachelor party, dude. They were just bringing over like four or five of the vodka bottles, like the little guys at a yeah. time for each of us, and it was oh. just like. I mean, it was like a fucking 45-minute flight, and we drank them out oh, of Oh, that's too quick. You want it to uh, be you want it. You want the fucking transcontinental. Totally, totally. I flew from one of the few first class from uh, cross country. It was uh, New York to L.A., JetBlue Mint. Was that the sleeper? Yes. Ooh. The JetBlue, JetBlue really stepped their game up. It's unreal. They got the sleeper, all the best movies. Uh, you know, they, they give you a menu. You can pick what you want. Oh. Everything's like, and they tell you about the food. This is actually John Wolfgang Puck's private resume. And you're like, oh, jeez, God, crazy. Damn. Yeah, that's and you, awesome. You start dozing off but you got to stay up because you want to get all you want in. the perks <laughs> yeah drinking some coffee over here yeah because yeah. yeah you came from humble beginnings what was that like flying private for the first time? oh it was insane it you was pull insane. on the tarmac that's the fucking that's got to be getting on the plane on the tarmac yeah that's got to be a good fucking feeling well you know you're a piece of shit when they, they bring it to teterboro which is where the jets go and uh they just the hub like what do you call it the, the terminal hang, the terminal yeah the terminal Hanger. It's got free cookies, free muffins, free coffee. You're putting and them so in your bag. For I'm sure. stealing all that oh shit. And they're like, you're already on the jet, you psycho. <laughs> there's food on the jet. And I was like, oh, I didn't know there was food on the jet. But it's just, it's weird to go from jet. Dude, you have jailhouse mentality. <laughs> right. You're like, here's know, resources. You I gotta gather yes. them. Yes. Nobody was eating them. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've talked about, I think we talked about it on your episode. But the fact, there's stories of you at, uh, well, I'm sorry, what was the name of your show on the Upper West, on the Upper East Side? Like Irish soup. exit. Hot soup. Oh, hot, hot soup. soup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Where you would, about that. Yeah, Jeez. I mean, comedy's dead. But yeah. you would go up to... Uh, <laughs> you would go... Bu- you would act like a busboy to so take good. people's... Plate. See, that's plates every time. Dude, that's the guy I thought Dude, you always were. To go uh, eat the, that's to go eat the food. 
off the bus, off said bus plate, and then go up on stage as a comic. But how confident is it I'm eating the discards of strangers? Yeah, but just crazy. to be able to walk up to somebody, you're done with that, and take it away. <laughs> it's never failed. It's fucking foolproof. Oh, my God. That's, awesome. that's insane. Try I imagine the Irish Sykes have probably put on a pretty decent chicken wing, too. Solid, solid <laughs> wing. And I like the flats. They had a good flat. It's <laughs> mm. funny, man. Um, Woo! All right, what do all you right got? this is from TTAK. Uh, have you ever washed an item of clothing in a sink because you're too lazy to do a full load of laundry for the next day? Oh, oh yeah. Of course. Oh, yeah. A of pair course. of undies or socks or something? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I could use a washing machine when I was four with the bedwetting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, but... Yeah, I knew my way around a fucking permanent press. Oh, Did you? Totally. Yeah. <laughs> totally, yeah. And, but I've definitely done the sink with the skid marks, you know? <laughs> that's, that's happened a few times. Uh, you got a hot date, but you can't find any fresh undies so you got to find the one on the floor you get the skid marks out you throw those puppies on yeah that was back when you just had white underwear i didn't know what i was thinking oh, <laughs> yeah. yeah i Tidy hadn't had white underwear yeah. in a long time yeah, yeah. not but. a good look no matter how in shape your dad was or oh, whoever man. you catch him in a pair of tidy white couple of like, yellow stains on the front balls yeah. are hanging down yeah. real low completely my dad was robe no undies guy too <laughs> <laughs> you said that oh did insane. i say that yeah okay. no but that's He's still insane stick. yeah that's still one of the <laughs> so you caught a peak with. every once in a while oh yeah he was huge <laughs> he got a unit on him <laughs> huge the whole thing was you like he would turn and it would like it would it was just a delay you know, <laughs> huge balls, hairy brown balls. And I remember Holy my dad's shit. sack was enormous. enormous, and you could see if there was jeans. It was like it was just like a it's, it's like a lava lamp. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's so slow. Hey, we got one. Shout out oh, to the lava lamp. Yeah. hey, that thing's fucking broken. Yeah, we don't but plug it in. Those those guys, <laughs> you got to keep the electric low. You know those guys mean? were more men than we'll oh, ever yeah. be. Oh yeah, for all the reasons that we've talked about just on this podcast. <laughs> sure. Well, yeah, you know, military, what they had access to. They say, I don't know. This is like a real scientific fact, but kids are fucking way less than people used to fuck. I guess because you got more things to do. You got phones, you, you got think, computer, wow. you got Netflix. So people are fucking as entertainment in a way. Mm-hmm. So if you have more things to do, you're going to fuck less. And plus like sexual assault <sighs> and Me Too and sure. whatever the fuck. So kids are fucking less. But also you got to think like maybe women are turned on less because we've gotten way softer. True. As, as sure. males. Like, yeah, we're, I guess as a, you know. We're less masculine for sure. Yeah. As compared to previously. But we yeah. don't know. I think men are confused, especially, I mean, I'm I'm almost 40, but I think younger guys are just like, do I be take chargey or is that mansplainy or do mm-hmm. I be aggressive or is that aggressive or what? You know, like, I don't think guys, you know, back then you're like, all right, Burt Reynolds, I'll be that guy. That's that's my archetype. Yeah. That's right. what I'm goal. shooting for. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But now I'm like, what, what, what are my Harry Styles? You know, like, what, the, <laughs> what do you look to now as a guy? Yeah, it's true. That's true. It's tough. It's tough. Right? Call in if, you, if you're uh, 25. I don't know what you go with. But I, I guess it was because I was a kid, but like those guys all had like dad vibes to me. You know what I mean? Like even like when I watched the A team, they were all like my dad's age. Yeah. But they were all tough as shit and they were still cool. There was some, it was like in the 80s and like early 90s, it was like, it was cool to be uncool. Does that make sense? You know what, what you mean? mean? Mm, I don't like, know what you mean. Like, I don't know. Like they, like they the, were cool. They weren't. Uncool. Yeah, I feel like that's more now. They were like shooting fucking Tommy guns and blowing up. No, but I mean, like you know, like uh, like they weren't wearing like the best sneakers. They'd be like, uh, old, what? like you know, if you look at Eddie Murphy in uh, in Beverly Hills Cop, he has a shitty pair of sneakers on, oh really? a pair of shitty jeans, and like a shitty Detroit jacket. But he looked fucking cool. He did shit. look cool. Yeah, but now they would be like Jordans. They'd oh, be like three hundred dollar jeans. Uh, you know what I mean? But I think I think that was cool at the time. He had like a pair of like Nike running shoes on. That was cool. Everything I think you're just right. progressed so much to the point where like men's athletic shoes weren't a fashion statement. Yeah, back that's then. true. You're right. They were just like that's what you wore. That's yeah. what you wore. It's like now it, the fashion has played such a big role. In also, it. he's supposed to be a Detroit beat cop. Yeah. So I don't think oh, we can right. go too yeah. hard into the fashion world right. because it would throw off his character. Yeah, yeah. it makes sense. Yeah. All right. I'll go fuck myself. Uh, yeah. Yeah. There you go, big man. All right. This one's from uh, Ben Zimmer. This is, a, I definitely fucking have done this. What's the worst, what's the trashiest item you've used as a window blind? For example, <laughs> oh my, my family taped a pillowcase over the window and waited weeks to buy a proper one. Wow, that's a big pillowcase. Um, <laughs> Jesus. That's not a that's not a carry on. Well, my brother was goth, so he had just the, the full blackout. blackout. Yeah, like, full was blackout. Was it sheets or were they curtain like proper curtains? I think they were like blankets, like yeah. black blankets, uh, which was just terrifying. You Those know, goth they, kids were something else. Yeah, he had the the makeup and the fingernails and the fishnet, whatever. Mm-hmm. Does he still rock that shit? No, no. He you know he's forty two now, but uh, back in the day, he was full in goth. He had 
he was kind of troubled. He was one of those kids. He had like the butt cut, and one half was black, one half was white. Oh, yeah. He was all in. That I was am. big. We grew up in a black neighborhood. We didn't know where to go. We didn't know what we were. And so he went goth, and I went full skateboard grunge thing. Yeah. And uh, that was back when, like now, you talk about progress. I see all these black kids skateboarding. Yeah. And they used to chase us for skateboarding. They, they'd be like, get a basketball, you weirdo. Mm-hmm. You know? But uh, now it's it's a little more fluid. Yeah. yeah. Everybody's mixing in. I love it. It's great. But yeah, curtains. I mean, towels up Dude, there. I did towels and blankets for like a while. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My parents at their their side door like lets in like a serious draft. So still every winter there's a St. Joe's like almost like a military blanket <laughs> that they have like a special bar, like almost like a it's like a clothesline, but it'll go like that and it'll go like that. Yeah. And at night they'll fucking put the blanket over it and then put it on the door so the draft doesn't come in. Oh, you know, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's tra- also that's trashy. trashy. That's, that's trash. <laughs> Also trashy was the uh, I don't know what you call those the plasticky kind of nylony just Venetian the, blinds the Venetian but the plastic ones where every now and then the, the side one would be like Rrr. oh yeah you know, they were a little yeah. bent yeah. all over yeah, yeah. yeah. That was all it was, fucked up yeah it was or too the much turn, of this shit the, the tur- peaking <laughs> yeah yeah, 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 yeah. They would make, clink <laughs> too much bend. peaking yeah. the, the turn rods not there yes, you just had the yes. thing on the side uh-huh. you had to yeah. get the coat hanger in there fucking garbage and it never stuck you know you were like all right then I pull out and that'll hold it up yeah 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 I feel like a sailor when I'm doing trying to fucking hoist the joist right. <laughs> right. Tell you the main flag. <laughs> We're riding in the hell, boys. Uh, <laughs> it's fucking mm. garbage. Yeah. That's a great question. I remember my buddy, when it comes to car windows, we drove around for four years of high school with my one buddy's fucking Datsun, where his, his driver's side door mm. just had a plastic bag, like, oh. like a trash bag, where he couldn't see Ooh. out of the left side of his car. And we would just, we'd d- fucking back and forth to the shore. Fucking smoking wow. weed, just fucking. There's ew. no coming back from that. No one goes plastic bag and then fixes it. No, it's just no. No. that's a give. You're giving up. You got a 48 hours. Yes. So if you don't do it in the, yeah. if you don't do it by the weekend, it's a wrap. How about and, this one? You remember that weird uh, cardboard pullout thing that unfolded for the, for the uh, sun? For, for the sun. I never Garbage. got that. <laughs> People had, had a pair that. of sunglasses yeah. on the yes, front. Oh, like sunglasses. a beat scene. The you sunglasses. Gotta put that graphic in if you can. <laughs> that is fucking trash. Wow. The sunglasses was big. That was big. That, that and the club. Yeah, the club. Yeah. Oh, I love the club. I never got the club. I feel like I could steal this car and get away with it. <laughs> <laughs> just turn slowly, go yeah, straight. Just, yeah. but, <laughs> get on the highway, you're good. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But uh, the, 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 the fucking sunglass thing, I got it because one time I left a cassette tape and that shit warped pretty quick uh, mm-hmm. on yeah. the dash. So Getting I into get a it. hot car in the summer in the 80s. Oh, those leather seats. Dude, those seats would just fucking burn the bottom of your legs. So bad. brutal. And brutal. nowadays people lease cars and shit like that. That wasn't that prevalent back then. So like I remember if something happened to one of our cars, like if a back window wouldn't go up or something like that, or like if it was stuck, mm-hmm. it was just left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't yeah. getting fixed. That's that was it. just a thing you had to overcome in yeah. your right. process to get into the car or if the door didn't open from the outside or if the remote didn't work. Or- Dude, yeah. door not open from the outside. You had to like fucking yeah. reach back and yeah. unlock it. That was bad. It open. Or the window would break and you'd have to open the door and get two hands on it and, and like fucking jam yeah, it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, you're, you know, my dad's like, don't do it. Don't put it down. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, yeah. They're all, every time you get in and start the car, they warn you, don't touch that fucking window. Uh, <laughs> we had a garage door like that. If you touch the fucking garage door thing, he was going to lose it because it was a <laughs> 50-50 shot. I was going to get stuck halfway through. Totally. Uh, <laughs> uh, speaking of cars, this is a good one. Uh, this is from Doug Hansen. Do you or any close member have a loved one's birth date and death date de- decal on your car? Oh, like, you know, wow, fucking no, Aunt Tootie no. from I'm, I'm sure. white. <laughs> <laughs> uh, R.I.P. Chewy. No, that, I feel like that was like a Latino thing. Or it's a definitely bit. Yeah, it's definitely more prominent in the Latino uh, uh population i feel i never had i had a buddy that had it uh on his like car in high school someone oh yeah and he had it yeah you Creep know you out. the white guy version of that is that weird cross on the side of the freeway you know like put in the dirt yeah, oh, like somebody yeah, got yeah, somebody yeah. got popped yeah, yeah exactly it says like dog on it or yeah something. it's got yeah. a couple of wreaths on it <laughs> yeah, you know or if you ever seen a, a all white bicycle <laughs> yes! taped to something yes yeah, yeah. yeah. fallen soldier hmm. somebody went out for milk and and take it back. <laughs> I don't rough. know if I'd want any of that. I definitely wouldn't want my no. face on a t-shirt. No, fuck that. Yeah. I don't want a death picture. Yeah. Good point. 
you know, because you don't get to pick the picture. No. Either. How do you want your funeral? Because he's he will you were very anti beef and beer. Yeah, I, I don't like want, I don't want to family. Benefit. Do you know a beef and beer? It's like a very northeast thing. Like a beef and beer would be like a wake. You, you, no, but it's like a a, a fundraiser. A it's fundraiser. Like a go me. It's fifty bucks for, for, for trash all people. Oh. All you can eat and drink to raise money for his family. The beef oh. would be like uh, a roast beef like, sandwich, like, you know, like, like a cerno. Like, you just go. Oh, up and I like kinda, that. Yeah. It's just kind of like a, you like the sandwich. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and a little beer. horseradish on there. Yeah. Kaiser roll. Yeah, who doesn't? <laughs> right. But right. meanwhile, there's a picture of you up on a fucking screen. Like, Ooh. I would love to go out the Irish wake style, like at an Irish pub on the pool table with like. Oh yeah, that would be so cool. Yes, fucking. Everybody, I'd awesome. be in Your patties body? or something. Yeah, I'm just wow. fucking prop me up. Everybody's That's hanging funny. out, boozing. Now, the thing I was always staunch on is I don't want an open casket. Tommy's upset I left. <laughs> yeah. I don't want an open casket. I don't want people looking at me. Unless you do go old school and put the quarters on my eyes. <laughs> so I got a little cash for the ferry man. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, coming up short. Hey, you can't take it with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's too good. Uh, this is one we've t- we kind of touched on. Uh, this is from Jess La Damirera or Brian Jess Da La Myrera. I, huh? I don't know. Shout out to Dom Myrera. Shout yeah, out to Dom Billy comic. Well, a yeah. lot of the history hyenas make jokes about their names, and then they I think they then do ah, R, so that's a their name. Yeah, I love it. Um, will you turn your underwear inside out to rewear them when laundry is not done? Sure, I do yeah. that. I do that normally. I mean, you get two re- wears out of the undies. You do that every day, like well, on I, Monday you'll put them on, and then Tuesday you flip them. Oh man, that's pretty wild. I'll Is do that, that with, wild? I'll I do think that with that's the, pretty wild. I'll oh, do shit. that with a t-shirt. I'll wear the t-shirt inside. I'll wear a t-shirt. But you got the for, tag going. Doesn't matter. I think right. it looks cool. I mean, right. we're not really. Yeah. Yeah. We're I not a, going for cool. Here. If <laughs> I have <laughs> big donut. <laughs> like we're going for whatever donut. covers them at this yeah. point. <laughs> yeah, those shit. I don't care if he wears it for a month. That's All how right. I pick. I picture what covers my belly, and I got to do the. The fat guy stretch on the shirt. Which uh, it used to be a uh, uh, fucking advertise. We used to advertise with them. Sheath. Mm-hmm. Dude, oh, you, can those, dude, you can wear those things for a month. Mm-hmm. Got them on? Ah, yeah. Oh, I got that same pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In a larger These, size. They're inside out, actually, yeah. at the moment. <laughs> dude, you yeah. can wear those. Oh, yeah. I did those like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And totally. Just, yeah, yeah. Do you do the ball in and the, the whole thing? You go thing? in both pouches in the sheaths? I never tried it. I just put them on and walk away. Okay. Yeah, I go in the pouches. Oh, the thing is, you can separate the dick and the balls. What? Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't got that kind of poise down there. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> my, my guys are watching each other's back. <laughs> like two fucking cherries in Vietnam, <laughs> fucking back to back. Fucking <laughs> Nobody's getting separated. Right, right. We're not walking around the haunted house by ourselves. <laughs> Stay together, fellas. Mm-hmm. Keep it oh, that's tight. Great. That's a great question, though. Oh, man. I heard fucking Mike Cannon say this weekend. He's like, it's so cold out there. He goes, my, 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 it looks like I have three testicles. <laughs> Which was fucking so funny. Yeah. I went to her for a physical, and I had a woman doctor, and it was chilly, and I was worried she was going to check oh, the yeah. fucking piece. I not that she'd be looking, but it would still be like, eh, I'm not a real man. Yep. I, I had a similar thing. I was running because I was late, so I wanted to be on time. And you know when you run or when you exercise, your dick goes inward. Mm-hmm. Does it? Yeah, oh yeah, it's like a survival thing. Mine hangs out on the inside <laughs> most days, anyways. Oh yeah, but she's survival. She, I got a physical and it was it was like an acorn. It was brutal. <laughs> Female doctor? Yeah. Attractive? Yeah. Oh man. I know. I was like nineteen too, and I, you know, it's prime. Like, oh, maybe it's like a porn. Yeah, maybe I'll yeah, fuck her. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she felt that acorn. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> Buried it for the wintertime. Handy a lollipop told you to beat it. Yeah. <laughs> I remember my first one you have to get, I think, when you're like 13 or 14, like junior high or whatever. And I went into the bathroom and like chubbed up. Like not chubbed really? up. Yeah. Like, I fucking. For a female doctor or a guy doctor? I didn't know who I was getting. Just wanted to show off whoever it was. <laughs> whoever it was. I want the flex on a little bit. <laughs> Word of mouth advertising. <laughs> Ruled in the 90s. <laughs> no, but it was just like, well, it could have either been a guy or a girl. It's kind of whoever like. Grabs your fight like would next up on docket. Really? Yeah, you would go to like a practice. It's like a barber? <laughs> Please, I have no, a for the Russian guy doctor. in the back. Like Dr. Rogers. Or- <laughs> no, it was like you made an appointment at Dr. Barbera's office, and then there was like three people that you could have got. Oh, uh, well, I just kind of whoever was working. Guy. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just oh. saying. Either way, I was. It was a coin flip. It was going to be a broad. <laughs> I was fucking chubbing up. Yeah, but if it's a guy, you know, no, no harm, no, no foul. No harm, no foul. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. That's funny. Um, all right, we got one. We can run through a couple of more. Um, Andrew Miller, that have you have you or a family member ever been thrown out of a little league sporting event for arguing a call with the ref or the ump? No. Oh, see, once again, 
My parents didn't put me in sports, and if they did, they wouldn't have come to the, to the game. Really? Yeah. Damn. They were distant, huh? Very distant. I never. I did. I did judo once, but I think I did it once. <laughs> and uh, I got the gi. I said hello. I met the kids. <laughs> I got kicked on the balls, and we never went back. So your parents didn't sign you up for little league or nothing like that. Nothing. Nothing. Did you express interest in it? Well, I liked fucking around. I liked playing and stuff, but uh, sports never. No religion. No sports. No hugs. That was their motto. Oh, <laughs> Sounds like a warm household. Damn. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yikes! It was waspy. It was. Uh, it was cold in there. Like the Cosby's over there. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Cosby at least you know <laughs> put me to bed. <laughs> I give you a drink. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I went to little league games. I went with friends. I would go to church with my friends because it was something. Really? Yeah. You know, you'd wake up on a sleepover on Sunday. The mom's like, "We're going to church," and I was like, "I'll go." What's church like? We were you know big atheists, so. Were you jealous? Not jealous, but were you in awe of other like families? Completely in awe. Wow. Especially the suburbs. See, yeah. that makes me feel so bad. Well, it was fine, but it was just a new world. Like I lived in the inner city, and so these kids were throwing their bikes on the lawn. The mom comes uh. out with orange slices. The dad's like working on the carburetor or some shit, or he's grilling. I was like, this is bananas. Yeah. And they'd go to church Americana. with them, come back, have lunch or whatever. Yeah. yeah. We'd go to like water parks and picnics and yeah, my I learned a lot just from going out with friends. Like, this is normal. Yeah. This is what normal is. Did you, was, have, did you have the house where you would have your friends over, or were you at purely kind of most of the time out at other people's places? See, my friends liked my house because we were free. It was completely independent. No cared, there was no yeah. supervision. And it was a big, weird, you know, haunted house mansion. So mm -hmm. we were running up and down. We'd skateboard in the front parlor, and, you know, we're, we're going under the house with flashlights and shit. Yeah. So it was fun. Uh, we could drink and stuff, but... You know, going to their house was fun for me because let's say it's a summer. Me and Kevin come over. We're all the same age. We're in the backyard. We're goofing around. Is your mom coming out? Hey, do you guys want this? You want some lunch? You want something like that? Are these guys staying for dinner? Do you guys want to sleep over? Anything like that or no? Well, I mean, she was nice. They're nice. They're nice people. But my mom was, you know, rubbing one out to <laughs> Jean-Luc Picard on the, the next generation. And my dad's doing taxes. He's got a green visor on. He's pulling the lever. You know? <laughs> so we were we camp in the backyard. We'd make food. We'd have a little fire going in the backyard. That's it, pretty cool. It was, it was like no stand rules. by me. It was. Yeah, Jesus. we saw a dead body. You know, <laughs> <laughs> but leech on my balls. So it go, it went both ways. You know, like I told my parents, I'm doing. I'm gonna try to go in and stand up. I moved to New York. They were like, all right. So Jesus. They, so there's perks to it too. Yeah. No, I got you. Yeah. There was always that one wrong. family though that did it a little bit better. And of you, course, and you were, you know, they, you, it was nice. Yeah, I'll, sister was hot. Fucking yes. mom was cool. It was Americana. Dad, yeah, I'll tell you Not what. That my though. parents didn't do it great. They did it fantastic. Did your parents fight in front of you? In front of me personally, or, or me and my friends? Well, in front of you, or just fight and in general. My parents never fought because they were too distant. Ah. So that I never had. I see my friends' parents like, oh fuck you, Pam. I'm. Yeah. You're, you're lucky. You're I'm still here. Whatever. And yeah. I was like. <laughs> I was blown away. You don't know how you got it. it. In yeah. front of other kids, never. Because yeah. we were a pressed Irish family. <laughs> uh -huh. But if it was a Sunday and shit popped off and the fucking windows were closed. Right. Yeah, it got it got hot and heavy. Yeah. But my dad was always big on never embarrassing the family out in public. Like uh -huh. that's we were, like that's real poor people shit. Yeah, like, yes. we don't have much, but we can not be we cannot be animals like the person next to us. Right, yeah. right. We can keep up appearances while we're here. So many family parties that we would go to with, you know, there'd be, you know, five different families. There'd be all kids my age and everybody's just running around like animals. Sure. All the kids. We'd be told, don't be fucking running around in here. Don't be running through these people's houses. And then if you forgot about that, He'd be sitting there with a fucking, you know, with a beer in his hand. And you run by the kitchen table and he'd fucking grab you. We're going to fucking tell you we're running in the house. Oh. It, was, it was all very, very quiet. Yeah. Very quiet argument. Shut up. Don't say anything. You know what I mean? It yeah. was all that And stuff. it was scared. That scared the shit oh, out of you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. For sure. Ooh, sorry, my man. uncle was the king of it. I remember oh, really? one time my uncle, he was even worse than my pop. But my, my cousin was running through the house one time and like he ran around a corner. My uncle was standing there and he grabbed him. He's like, you keep running in this house. I'm going to beat you till you bleed. I remember I, just, I remember I put down my Shirley Temple and called a cab. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me. I'll be back at the house. Check, ah, please. Fuck that. Ooh, I just love the idea. Hello, United Cab. <laughs> uh, I got a real live one here. <laughs> Man, oh, you, you guys ever shit. run away? Oh, I, I, for like two minutes. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> Until and, I got hungry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried, and uh, my dad being the fucking, you know, ball buster fucking i was like oh, that's it i'm fucking out of here 
And you do the thing where you get your school bag, you pack up your fucking yep. Ninja <laughs> Turtle thing. and your G.I. Joe yeah. or whatever. Yeah. And I got it. I'm fucking leaving, right? I was like seven or something. Yeah. And he goes, I don't know where the fuck <laughs> I was going. I don't want to be there. I'll tell you that much. And I'm like, I'm leaving. And he uh, he goes, all right, well, here, you're going to need a couple of bucks for a cab. And I like, pulled out like a 20. He oh, goes, here you go. Called your bluff. And he goes, I'll get you the phone book. Get the phone oh. book. And like, really? And I'm like, I'll leave, really? He's like, yeah. And my mom's like, stop it, Dan. Like, it was That's like a, awesome. Man. Yeah, I did the same. Packed up a bag, put like three cookies in, a slingshot. <laughs> right. and Even the cookies. Yeah. Any cookie you get his hands on, he takes. Oh, yeah. Three muffins. <laughs> you get outside the, the gate, you see like black kids popping wheelies. You're like, all right, I'll be back in <laughs> That's awesome. My brother did that one time, and it was one of it was like one of those special moments because there was like a lot of tension. They were fight. They were she. Was, my mom was yelling at my brother, and like we were fighting and stuff like that. And I remember me and my mom just laughing in my brother's face so hard. It was something about him in a little league game the next day, and like my mom bluffing that he wasn't going to be able to go mm-hmm. because he was being bad. And my brother taking his like little league shirt and folding it up and putting it in his little league hat, uh, and then putting it on his head. Yeah, and then getting on his bike, and he's like, "I'm leaving." And me and my mom. Just like fucking the two old guys in the Muppets just falling over, <laughs> laughing at him, knowing he wasn't fucking going anywhere. Yeah. So you're older, older brother? Yeah, I'm I'm younger. My brother's older. Two Wait years older. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. And you only brother? Only brother, yeah. It was me and my brother. Good you? times. I got I was the youngest of three, and then my parents got divorced, and my dad had two like significantly younger kids. Oh, okay. So you weren't really attached. I was well, kids, not so much as we got sure, older, sure. we grew apart, but wow. there's one that I'm 10 years older than and one that I'm 16 years oh, older. Oh, yeah, that's another yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. What was you and your brother? He's older. No, we're all youngest. Are you close to him? Not really. He's a tough nut to crack. He's very serious. He's he's almost like spectrum-y kind of, I think. I, you know, he's a good guy, and he's got two great kids and a nice wife, and he's doing fine, but it's... uh. And we're so we're light Just years different. Different, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's crazy. We're Stuff. all we're all the youngest. That's something to be said for that. I think. That's that's a comedy. <laughs> that's thing. a comic yeah. thing. Yeah, looking you're, for one, you're looking for attention, approval. Yeah, had, had it a little easier, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. In the words of Dave Chappelle, we're the icebreaker. Yeah. Of the family. Yeah. We come in and say something stupid. We fall <laughs> over. Everybody's always like, "Oh, well, you're with the baby." So yes. it's like everybody. Yeah, you, know, you go to the baby. Nobody cares about the older one. No, you know, no, no. Now, he's got you, boogers in his nose. Did you guys have to perform for your family when you were younger? Is yeah, that where it came from. I, I chose to. I don't think they liked it. Okay, because that was always the thing. <laughs> Saul's that we stuff. Would, wasn't a fan. Any any holiday, <laughs> any get together with my immediate family. At some point, Mike's it, clicking in and out. At some point, there was going to be a show. Yeah, my cousin uh, Tracy was going to do Michael Jackson. Oh wow! I was, was going to lick do your my, asshole. I was going <laughs> to <laughs> come on. Uh, <laughs> We're having fun. I was going to open up for her with fucking uh, maybe, <laughs> a couple of minutes. Yeah. Uh, do moon. a crazy Eddie impersonation, do a Robin Leach impersonation. We had this one aunt oh, that really yeah. encouraged that. And like everybody in the family were like performers. Uh-huh. And, like, I feel like, you know, that's where it came from. And it's like when you watch the Eddie Murphy's. Uh, yes. Delirious. Yes. Or raw. In he the talks beginning. about that. He yeah. talks about that. That's right. Yeah. Exactly. Again, there was nothing good on. You mm-hmm. couldn't just put on Netflix. It was, so you had to entertain get drunk people. and make the kids do fucking shit. There but you go. Well, all the like, I, my family's huge. I have like forty cousins or something. Now they all have kids because I was like the youngest one of them. So they all have like kids anywhere from like twenty to you know newborns. And what they all do is they still do the same thing, but it's all for TikTok now. Ah, like they all ah, fuck that. Point. They're good all point. like, yeah, we're gonna do the dance, and everybody watches through the dance, but we're also gonna film the dance and and release the dance. That's so, it. I- Oh, sorry. I feel like it was better back then. I, I now agree. it's softer. We were we were going. I was I needed. A, we were going for laughs. Yeah. And it was a, <laughs> it was a fucking tough you, room. You might have not yeah. got booked at Thanksgiving. Yeah, it was like know. an <laughs> 80s comedy club. It was like filled with smoke. They were drunk. <laughs> you had to get in there. You had to get them. You had to fucking tell them <laughs> you and get the fuck off stage quick. Now it's like, you know, they're like. They're the like dancing? half singing. You're like, come on. What is this bullshit? I you know. know. Put but some it, fucking effort into it. It's different being in the room, you know? You got to bring it. But also, these kids probably aren't performing for their families like we did. So it, I just feel like we're moving further and further oh, apart yeah. as, a, as a species. Sure. It's weird. Yeah, it is weird. But I mean, maybe that's just the, the that's natural just how progression. It goes, yeah. the, I, my grandfather was like, Looking at me like this, like on or like I was, I skated too. So they're like, this fucking idiot's out there on a skateboard. Like, yeah, I had a job when I was 12. You know right. I mean? like, yeah, good thing. point. Good point. Hmm. Same here. My grandfather, fucking, he was a Korean vet. He had a, he was a fighter pilot. He hated me. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Awesome. Dude, my, my, my grandfather was a Philly cop for like fucking 
you know, 50 years. And still, I still see him to this day, and he's sober now. He's like a bad, he was, a, you know, alcoholic for a long time. Yeah. So he's been sober for like 40 years or something. And every time I see him, he goes, how much is a train ticket up to New York? Ah. He wants to know that. And how much for a beer do they charge you? Oh, and yeah. I play along. I'm like, $32 yeah. a beer. <laughs> oh, 32 <laughs> bucks a game, huh? Every, and he'll ask me five times a night. Every day. It's great. World War II, Vietnam, those guys are all tough. Those Korean War guys Ooh. are oh, fucking man. a different breed. Different. His name is Cleveland. Oh. <laughs> so this guy is like Cleveland Norman? This guy, Cleveland Williams. And he Damn, had. what a name. I know. It sounds like a black guy. <laughs> and he, uh, like, he told me, like, back when he met my grandmother, he had to have a chaperone. Her mom had to come. Damn. And, like, he's like, you don't know what it was like. It was so much work and all this. I was like, that is insane. And he had to wear a suit on the date, you know, all that shit. Holy so shit. It just feels like every inch of discomfort we have, we, like, try to get rid of it. And I think that's going to hurt us at some point. But they relished it. Or they had so much discomfort. Yeah, and I yeah. think they were happier. Yeah. You know, we were, like, you always hear about They were more in- distracted. Maybe that's they it. They were like, I got, we have to, everything was harder and more time consuming. So yeah. it's like, I just, this is, well, this is life. I don't have time to worry about right. who likes me and doesn't like me. Right. I got to right. perform on Thanksgiving or whatever. They're just going, yeah, this is fucking life. I yeah. guess so. Yeah. Oh. That was a good thing about that generation is they, if you ever went to your grandfather or something and was like, oh, this kid doesn't like me. They gives a fuck. What oh, somebody, yeah. They, they didn't, my dad. They didn't give a fuck who thought what about who. I know, I know. And I'm like, I didn't get enough retweets. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> This sure. post is getting nothing. <laughs> That's fun. All right, let's do uh, one more, then we can wrap it up. We're coming up on an hour here. Uh, this is, uh, I'm trying to think of a good one to, uh, to end it on here. Um, this is a pretty good one. This is from Kevin. I am morbidly obese, but I got a cute piece. <laughs> Stevens, another fucking history. I is. Uh, have you ever used a tip calculator or a tip card? Oh, wow. Like, that's how do you, well, school. I guess my question is, how do you calculate the tip when you go out? What do you do? Check comes. How do you do it? Well, I mean, if they don't say it on a thing. Yeah, no, it's not on the bottom of the thing, which is a new thing. Which I'll, is I'll break good. my phone out and I'll figure out what 20% is and then I'll do usually do more than that. Mm, I heard you double the tax. That's what I always do. Oh, that's pretty- That's cheap people shit. Ah, oh, fuck. Yeah. That's cheap people shit. <laughs> I learned that's coming that. from a waiter, too. Yeah. Uh, I, I waited tables for 10 years. But, Wait, well, uh, should be, it should what? be 18 or 20%. What's tax, though, in New York? Tax is probably 10%. It's 10%, so I just doubled. Yeah, what am I, perfect. Giuliani? I don't know what the fuck's <laughs> going on. Better be a fucking 20 when I come back to get that thing. I'll tell you that. Uh, I, I give 20%. I mean, that's about my default. Yeah. But uh, I thought doubling the tip. I, that, I think in New York that works. It's like 9 or 10% is the tax. Yeah, that, okay. that, that, sh- that should work out. But I have no problem breaking out the phone. and you know. I just do, I do two times the 10 number. If it's 40 bucks, two times four is it? Okay, bucks. that's pretty good. Oh, there you go. That's not bad. So it's two bucks for every ten. Are but, you? I notice a lot of some people are old school. Like uh, I would run in the tables where they wouldn't leave anything. They didn't want to leave the tip on the card. I want to give you ah uh, because they don't know your card. What are you doing? Every, that's a brand new mic we just. Bought I don't know yet. what to tell you. They don't. They don't know who's. <laughs> I just gonna, bought that yesterday. <laughs> they don't know who's going to get the money. We want to make sure you get it. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, so they leave it in case. Don't pool it. Yeah. Yeah, this goes for you. Yeah, which I when I was working tips, I didn't mind putting a little in the old uh, kipster's <laughs> back pocket. Of course, I mean? of course. Not making it in the pool. Some yeah. Effort. Trust these fucking scumbags I'm working with. By the way, you know the game of pool is called pool because you used to pool the money. It's called pocket billiards. Ah. But you had, it started like it was a gambling game. Oh, let's play pool. Yeah, let's pool the money. Who came up with that? Aha. Uh-huh. That is a trashy piece of knowledge <laughs> right there. That's a New Orleans kid's knowledge. Yeah. Hey, break out Lucille. Remember pool halls? Those were a thing. I don't know what's going on pool halls. I, I used to, to never want to fuck with anybody in those no. things. Get yeah. beat up by a man. Yeah, they're holding a weapon. <laughs> I went on to one of like the Upper East Side, like 103rd and fucking 2nd or something. I was like, oh, we're play pool. I went in there. I fucking one loop in, one loop out. Like, no, thank you. <laughs> that was it also, was dicey. That was also the height of luxury as a kid. Like, it's got a fucking pool table. Oh, house. You're like, oh, oh, forget about it. Dude, that, that was, was insane. Killer. Yes. Killer. And if it was a red one, it's over. <laughs> oh, man, it was big. If he had a red pool table, those parents were well, fucking. The, the they big were bad, <laughs> Right? Yeah, they they were little, into some weird, yeah. Little nose candy. Little nose beers the, every yeah. once in a while. The, re- the real money was the one that would collect at the one not stop in the pockets. The one that had the system oh, where it would bring oh, you, oh, and you would get them at the end of the pool table. Right, that That's was nice. real. My buddy had one of those, and it didn't have the, <laughs> you know, it just yeah, did it, it didn't have the, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, of course, <laughs> yeah. they were collecting quarters, <laughs> cigarette <laughs> machine in the corner. <laughs>
How about the guy with the arcade game at his house? Oh, it, it, oh it, 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 the pinball machine? Oh. Come on. Dude, the epitome Woo! the epitome of my buddy is his dad making new money. Like, they were fucking trash. Yeah. They made a shit ton of money, and he got a urinal installed in the addition what? on their what? house. What? They had a urinal, dude. I've never heard of that. And it was like, he's like, wait till you see this. We're going to have a urinal. We're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've dude, also never heard it. they cut the ribbon on that thing? It was <laughs> something else. <laughs> <laughs> Had the big scissors. The, big scissors. Yeah. <laughs> the mayor was there. He gave a little speech. <laughs> <laughs> Holy uh, sh- gang! What a fucking episode, Mark Norman. Thank you much for fantastic. sitting there with us. Thank you so Thanks much. We Thanks appreciate it. Of, of course. course. Shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the amazing T-Dog. Toby McMullen, everybody. Tobo. Uh, we will be back next week for another exciting episode of Are You Garbage? You got anything for him? I listen to Tuesdays with Stories with me and Joe List. Uh, it's on anywhere you can get podcasts and out to lunch on uh, YouTube. Fantastic we're, we're, we're special. We're up to about four mil and counting. Fuck Woo! Netflix. Fuck these queefs. These networks can suck my ass. <laughs> YouTube's the future. And uh, yeah, marknormancomedy.com for merch and anal and jizz. Yeah. Guys, go check out his stuff. He's one of the funniest guys in the country. Hardest, one of the, uh, probably the hardest working comic in New York. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. He's a fucking killer. Go check out his special. It's free on YouTube. Go check it out. As always, just please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. Those numbers are fucking climbing through the roof. We appreciate that. And then obviously the Patreon to help us fucking pay the bills. We went on our own. We're rolling the fucking dice. Let's fucking do it. Support the fucking guys. You know what I mean? Yes, uh, sir. And the store's open. Pod merch. With all of our teas. We got teas. Podcastmerch.com. Check it yeah. out, please. Uh, get yourself something for the holiday season. Buy it for a friend. Buy it for a loved one. Yeah. We love yeah. you guys, and we will see you next week. Peace. Peace.